So we were adding GTE forms based functionality to our quick entry form here. We've already added our uh, our menu navigation or rather our home page based navigation. Now we've also added pre-population of the form and we've got one more and that's to add support for attachments and custom checklists. So we're going to log in as our administrative user and we're going to uh, we're going to go and add these. So remember that in GTE forms the flow of the user experience can be controlled completely in setup tables. We've already added the delivered page in App Designer. So we'll come in and take a look at that. But now we're going to add it in the setup tables so it'll show up. So it's on the component already. All we had to do is drag and drop that onto the component in, in App Designer. But now we'll go in and add the navigation so that in the uh, in the page flow it'll show up when we want it to. So we have our, our form results page. Before we go to that results page between when we enter the data and when we see our form results, we want to add a submit quick entry form page. We can easily update the text that's going to show at the top of the page for the user. So we just added a step title. Now we're going to add instructional text telling them how to fill out the page that we're about to turn on. So we've entered that. Now we just need to show, tell it which page off of the component to actually use. We're going to point to our quick entry job submit page. And we're going to change the, uh, we're going to leave the page navigation at end end means that we'll see the submit button. We no longer want to see the submit button on the uh, on this page so we'll change this one to start so that we'll show the button configuration that we're interested in for when we're starting the solution. And now we've got four steps, three pages and one search dialog page. So we'll save that and we're also going to add a, a custom checklist item. So from here, all we need to do is come to the form task messages page. And then for the add task, we select a message catalog entry. Again, that's just text that you type in in the message catalog component that will have the text that we want to ask for. We're going to uh, to set the uh, checkbox so that, set the format to checkbox so they need to check off that they're, that they're using this feature legitimately. So this is a, a function that allows you to build a custom checklist and that lets you do it on an ad hoc basis. That way you don't have to have the developers come back in if you need to add another acknowledgement or if you need to pass a little more information on to certain users or if you need to get an additional sign off as we're doing here. So again, no code involved. We just added some text and so now when we come into our, our job data quick entry page, We'll make a, a slight change, give it a new effective date. A little distribution change. Make a brief comment. And now when we go to the next page, we have the page that we're looking for, the quick entry page. And from here, or I'm sorry, this is 
not the quick entry page, but the uh, submit quick entry form page from which we can add file attachments and you'll see the four messages that we the four messages that we created here. So if we click the upload button, we can easy easily attach our uh, our favorite Dilbert to our to our quick entry form. Give it an appropriate description. And now the file attachment when we get to the point where we're passing this around through an approval process, all the all the viewers or all the approvers will be able to pop it up and see our Dilbert. Here's our form message. When we check this, it uh, stores who checked it. So from this information button, we can pop that open and see who signed it and the date time stamp for when they signed it. So again, just with just by adding a delivered page to the component and then adding navigation to it and a couple of setup table entries, we're able to add support for scanned or desktop file attachments and for ad hoc form messages. And of course we've moved the navigation button over here to the submit button on the job data quick entry page. So when we submit that, we still end up on our results page. Okay, it's time to talk about my favorite topic finally, which is workflow. Nothing makes a PeopleSoft techie's heart sink as fast as a business user saying, we want to add an approval step to that before it hits the system. Techies know that approval processing is a lot more than kicking off an email and a work list item to an approver. It means that the transaction itself needs to be stored in a staging table with a unique key structure and that unique key means a custom data entry interface for both the requester and for the approver and it means that when the approvals are done the transaction still has to be sent back into the system somehow. So this is where GTE forms becomes really beautiful. Let's say that the quick entry form is working so well for central HR that the departments want it now. They don't want to be stuck filling out paper forms anymore. But central HR doesn't want department approvers sticking transactions straight into the system without review. So an approval process is needed. Because we've built the quick entry form in GTE forms, it is already ready to be ramped up to an approval process. It's already storing the transaction in staging tables, and there's already a custom front end built. The GTE forms workflow engine will take care of the rest. So we've got the user facing application, we've got the integration into PeopleSoft already happening. All we're adding is the workflow piece. On our next slide here, we can see the entire architecture with the workflow or the approval process added. First we have the users and instead of them interacting with PeopleSoft, we've built them this quick entry page that's simplified and that is task specific. And that is actually insulating them from the cumbersome delivered entry pages that PeopleSoft provides. Now we're going to add routing that moves this through a list of users, brings it to the appropriate users, and then when those users approve it, we're going to go in from the eForm layer, integrate into the delivered ERP or PeopleSoft layer, and enter that information. So let's see how easy it is to, uh, to add workflow or to add an approval process to our quick entry demo.